Before we get started, like, subscribe, get notified, Ooh. and share. And don't forget to head over to jrootedamagerstore.com to pick up the freshest new J. Rooted Damager gear like Lyric Tees and more. Peace. You asked about hip-hop and what it means. It means a voice of inner-city people particularly, as well as it's, it's like protest music. The opportunity to say whatever it is that you feel at that moment. Whether you're sitting in your house and you have a thought and you write it down, you bring it to the mass of people. It's a voice of change. You know, obviously the foil and graffiti, b-boy and b-girl and you know, DJ and MC, and that's the elements. If you don't know that, now you know. But it's also a tool to create kind of some kind of change, whether it's internally or it's externally throughout the rest of the world. So that's, that's what hip-hop is, you know? And I started doing it because, um, to be real, I heard Run DMC back in the days. And I think it was some MCs that was on the radio. And I was in the shower, I'll never forget it. And I was reciting the lyrics, and I forgot some of the lyrics, and I just started doing my own lyrics over it. And I, when I got out of the shower, boom, I started writing my own rhymes. And from then on, that was like back in like 1983, 84. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got into hip hop. What about you, Bill? I got into hip hop just because, like, yo, man, people were just blasting that shit out the window where I lived at, man. It was, it was just part of the environment, you know what I'm saying? It was just it was something that I that I was kind of, you know, inherited into, you know what I'm saying? Just listening to the radio, um, Kiss, you know what I'm saying? Red Alert, um, Marley, you know what I'm saying? Taping it all the time from Roxanne Shante, UTFO, from, from Ella, Rock the Bells, you know, from Here We Go by Monday MC, all of that really, like, affected me, you know what I'm saying? And then once Rock Kim came out, that, that, that took it to the next level. That really inspired me to start writing rhymes and really, you know, become a part of the culture in terms of, of contributing to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rather than just be a spectator on the sidelines. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. And it's interesting too because like hip hop nowadays is a lot of like floss and a lot of stuff like that. But it's 2003, and I guarantee you, by the middle of 2004, a lot of things are gonna change. You know I'm saying they got hip hop, hip hop fucking beats on, on cell phones. My phone just rang. I gotta take this call though. Excuse me. Yo.